the NBA. Getting off to a hot start, always a good sign. But, but don't sleep on the teams that are still getting locked in. A lot can change in the coming months. Now, here's Aiton. Aiton a screen on Thompson. Booker the pass to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. DeAndre Aiton dangerous in the pick and roll just because as a big, he can get off of that screen so easily. Poole kicks to Brown. Thompson for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Now here's Booker. Of MP's willingness to reach out and learn. MP can gain so much from picking over what McGrady learned during his career. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. GA with their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green, the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. One of the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. Now Tom. Pass to DiVincenzo. Over Paul. They get it back. Brown kicks to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo gets the screen from Brown. Dante DiVincenzo, and that's good. DiVincenzo's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now Greg, a disappointing ending to the playoffs last season, certainly for the Phoenix Suns. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second round exit after a grueling game seven. So this season might be Chris Paul putting the D on its heels. Here's Brown and finished off by Brown. This whole second half, he's been unbelievable scoring the basketball. The defense has had literally no effect. Well, Phoenix shooting a pretty low, 34% thus far. Lee up top. High, arcing shot, and there it is for him. The Warriors shooting has been... And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the match. You guys really took it to the other team on both ends of the court for 48 minutes tonight. When you see your team play like this, do you think, why can't we do this every night? Yeah, I mean... You know, I think we do this every night, Nate, if I'm being honest. You know, we aren't going to always shoot great, but we can play defense like that and challenge shooters every night. You know, that's how you consistently win this league. Speaking of challenging shooters, you look like the Kimbe Matumbo out there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I wanted to give him a little finger waggling, too, you know. Um, I had a couple good blocks. It was fun. You know, playing defense is definitely, you know, my favorite part of the game. That's good because, you know, you're good at it. Congrats. Thanks, brother. Hey, everyone. Hey, my man Johnny Luck. What you got for me today? Hey, MP. Now, you've led your team in impressive fashion recently. How does that feel coming on the heels of reports questioning your leadership? I got to admit, you know, it, it don't feel bad. You know, but I'm always going to care more about the team's success than individual accolades. So the fact that I'm contributing to winning games, that's the biggest thing for me, brother. Huh. Always putting the team first. Always. Impressive stuff, MP. Appreciate you, John. <laughs> I know you usually got an interesting take on things, so uh, what's the angle today? Talk to me. <laughs> Had no angle. Mm -hmm. uh, just wondering why it took you so long to, for us to see this uh, version of you. <laughs> Everything happens in its own time. Coach always says that's always have, always will. So do I wish I could have found more success a little bit sooner? Sure. But at this point, we are where we are, and I'm, not, I'm happy with it. 
so I'm not going to question why it took so long. Okay, well, n now that you have been displaying Encore leadership on a more uh, consistent basis, do you have anything to say uh, to the front office? Nah, we, we, we talk all the time, you know, so they know where my head's at, and I know where theirs is as well. But thanks, though. I, I really appreciate you checking in with me, man. Of course. Anytime. Okay, that's it. All right. Thanks, guys. MP! Thank you enough. Everyone is talking about the shirt. <laughs> Other players are hitting me up for custom designs. Really? Well, don't forget about me when you become famous. I could now. never! <laughs> are you sure? No. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's really, really cool to see you thriving. And to see my t-shirts all over the city, that's super cool. Thank you. Thank you, man. A little narcissistic, but I get it. Hey, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I mean, the good news is we're sold out for weeks. We're back ordered. Everyone in town wants one for the playoffs. All we have to do is get a few supply chain issues ironed out, and we are so good to go. Let's go. I'm Audrey, so excited, man. You, you, you did a heck of a job, oh, seriously. Thank and you. And I only helped out. It was all you and your designs. So thank you. Thank you. But you had something to do with it. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hey, Professor Shiv. Hey, you enjoy the game? It was very impressive. And not just the game. Audrey, how are you? I'm good, Professor, thanks to MP. Oh, no, uh, listen, it was a mutually beneficial collaboration. It well, wasn't just all me. to be honest, I love what you two are doing together. In Thank fact, you. Audrey, would you be interested in being a guest judge at the upcoming Student Spring Fashion Show? I mean, it's always great to have a former winner at the judges' table. Nice. What an honor, Professor. Who are the other judges? Well, Shep, and I know you have a history, but I hope that won't dissuade you from attending. And MP, if you're interested. Oh, oh he's... <laughs> Interested. Very interested. For sure. Yes, interested. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful then. Now, if you excuse me, I am in desperate need of a commode. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the way. Great. This is huge. What? To be a guest judge on Callaway's court, I mean, that's crazy. instant credibility. It airs all over the country. Listen, listen, this is exactly what we were hoping for. I know. So, when is this happening? Uh, three games from now. Okay, okay. Hey, okay. Don't let Shep clown you on national really, television. Really, really. I got this. Looks like we've got a handle on this whole leadership thing for the time being. It yeah, does. hashtags MP, leader, and let's go have been trending on social for the better part of 48 hours, so. Okay. I'm Congrats. impressed. Right, hey, but uh, can your source find out Fidel is still trying to trade a rising young star with leadership abilities up the wazoo? Oh, don't talk about yourself in the third person. <laughs> yeah, mm. it plays terribly with boomers, and that's our most affluent demo. And don't say wazoo. <laughs> and don't die <laughs> Thank the question. You. <laughs> it's not that funny. I mean, uh... I really want you to work your source here, Ricky. You know? Okay. Or if does Teresa from Ticketing still have insights <laughs> it's from not or not? Teresa then from who ticketing. is it, man? Look, you're gonna tell me. You. You're gonna tell me. Look, just because you're doing a great job right now does not mean you can let your foot off the gas. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. I will try and see where Othello's head is at, but you still gotta do your thing, all right? Look, nothing's settled on the trade front. Of course, man, but <laughs> it only gets better from here, Rick. Trust me. All right, well, you know, it might be a good idea for you to check in with Coach Graves, too. Yes. I mean, he's an ally on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do talk, you know, chat with him every day, but. You know, maybe I can see what, uh, if he knows what Othello's thinking or doing. Good, good. In the meantime, I'll hit up my source, and we'll take it from there. One day at a time, right? Yes, sir. Only way to do it.